Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the Tazcraft server. I know you guys are probably expecting Mindfighter again. Um, about that, the server, the server's, no, that's not happening anymore. No, it's, it's, it's down. It's not coming back. Okay. So anyways, we're back on Mindfighter, or no, we're back on Tazcraft. Um, I think it's episode eight. I'm pretty sure it's episode 8. Let's just go with episode 8. Um, also something that I have to mention, like, really fast. Um, the event that I was holding a little while ago. Um, yeah, the part where I actually, like, we went to capture each other's flags. Uh, that part was, um, it was exported incorrectly because the file was so large. Uh, which means it was corrupted. And, yeah, I don't have it and I can't post it. But I have links in the description to Try It Up Bear and uh, the Hackster if you want to go watch their videos on it. Uh, so I highly suggest doing that. Anyways, back to the video. And today, we're getting started on our base. That's it. We got all this glass. Why not get started on our base? So we're doing it. It's, so yep, yeah, we're just going to do it. Um, so I think last episode I mentioned that uh, the Hackster is now on the server and he wants to build his base right there, which is where I'm building my base. Um, but then we talked it out, um, I explored the area a little bit, and I decided that I will actually want to make my base over here, not this spot exactly. If you go a little bit more in this direction, right here, right here is exactly where I want to build my base, like right here. So this will be the center of it, and like, you can see some surrounding islands, which I kind of like, uh, but we'll have plenty of... Uh, plenty space plenty of plenty space yeah sure why not uh to start on our base so i'm very excited once again here's the picture that we're kind of going off of uh but i'm gonna go hop into a creative world uh and try to kind of look at how um i want to like build everything so first thing is of course we want it to be a sphere because we're that's basically its whole dealio and also um what i should mention is going off of the sides are going to be like different spheres, like different things. It should be really cool. Uh, so I'm excited to get started on it. Um, but yeah, it, I, this, this is still technically the opening because I haven't like started the intro. So let's start the intro and get on with today's video. Alright, so I set up our little conduit right here and I put some wood so we know where we're building in case we ever lose track. Uh, but yeah, let's go back home and I say that we should probably collect some more sand and also do the surf the creative world. Yeah, okay, so let's go get started on the creative world first, I'd say. Alright, so this is about where we put the conduit uh, and this is the surrounding area better look. I didn't realize that actually under here there is this big old cave that's pretty cool. So we should maybe explore this I don't really know I want to get started on our base first I'm pretty sure you guys want to see our base so let's get started on our base first um, I don't know exactly where I want to build though I'm thinking a little bit deeper maybe right here I think that this is a nice little place it's a little bit deeper than over there uh, so let's get out some glass and let's get started first of all do we want white stained glass what what stained glass do we want or do we just want regular glass that's the question i'm gonna test out a few different ones so here are our options i'm kind of leaning towards the white stained glass because it doesn't have like this edge right here uh the blue's cool um but i ugh, it's not really my favorite plus it's gonna be a pain to get a lot of blue dye uh, well white is just bone meal which is really easy um, then yeah, same with these two. They're cool, but they're not amazing. So I think we're gonna go with the white stained glass. I think that's gonna look the best and it's gonna be the easiest dye to get. Uh, the nice glass is good, but ugh, this one just takes the cake in my opinion. Uh, so at, now I think we have to figure out how big of a sphere do we actually want for this thing. So I think that we should make our sphere uh, 50 in diameter, uh, 50 blocks in diameter, and then have it like this where half of it so 25 blocks is above water and then half of it 25 blocks is below the water 
Um, I think that this would be really cool because that would be half underground, which I always like underground bases, and half underwater, which I love because underwater. And also that way it doesn't extend out of here, but also we have a lot of room to build. Only problem with this is we're going to need haste too, <laughs> or else it's just going to be painful. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have to do that, but let's, let's try and make a sphere, see how it'll look, and then... Maybe we'll probably have like an elevator that goes up and down on the floors. That would be really cool. And Mumbo Jumbo to design another elevator. I think that can do that. So that would be fun. Well now, and this is what we have. And I think it's looking pretty good actually. I am very happy with it. I think the white stained glass looks very, very good. But this is going to cost a lot of glass, guys. This is going to be so much glass and a lot of work. I don't know how I'm going to clear out this thing with sponges either gonna take forever but should be interesting in the end so might as well get started on it um but yeah let's go hop back onto the taskcraft server um and i do also want to get started on a farm don't don't know how much time i have today uh see see how long this takes we'll probably just get it all laid out like i did here and then get started on the farm that i want to start building we also might do this like uh, the area of, like that goes around it, but like not fill it in. We'll see. Let's let's get started though. So I've been working really hard, and I actually did a 3D time lapse. It did not work out. The I I don't know what's up with me like corrupting files, uh, but the file was corrupted. Uh, I don't think I have a virus. It's just like my computer is really freaking out sometimes. Uh, it's not virus like though. It's really odd. Anyways, um, but I actually have the layout done. So you can see what it's going to kind of look like now. Um, and I'm really, really excited. It's going to take forever, though, to go and dig all of this out. Ugh, I'm not excited for that. And then I'm going to have to take out all the water. It's going to be really hard. Um, but anyways, now I actually want to get started on a farm. Okay, I never remembered to open OBS! Now that farm that I want to build is an iron farm, actually. Uh, but really fast, I just thought that I should show this. Uh, so that's my base right there, and it looks like the Hackster and uh, Ramen Nation have been hard at work. I'm pretty sure oh, this is more complicated than I expected. Uh, I think that this is a creeper farm, a mob dropper, some automatic kill. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a, a, a mob farm. They said that they're going to try to be doing stuff in um, the shopping district, trying to get a lot of diamonds. Um... But I also want a lot of diamonds, so we might be competing. Uh, but wow, this is surprisingly complicated. <laughs> I'm used to just doing a little hopper clock and uh, or repeater clock, and that that's about it <laughs> for my mob droppers. But yeah, this definitely looks really cool. And then I'm guessing that Bagel uh, or Rumination built this, and it looks very very nice. But before we even get started on that, I think that we should actually go for a villager breeder. Uh, and I've never built one of these in my life, so I'm a little bit nervous and I don't know exactly where to do it. Maybe over here on these mountains? Um, that's, yeah, yeah, like right here. It's a little bit farther from my base than I'd like to go, but it's not, it's not a huge deal. Uh, so I guess... Let's get started. <laughs> a little bit nervous. We're going to actually be building our villager breeder right here. Uh, and it's a design by Impulse. If you guys do not know Impulse, he's a really great Minecrafter. Uh, you should go check him out. Uh, it should be interesting, but I am very nervous. I've, I've never ever built a breeder of any kind. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, we also have all the materials right here. Uh, and I've also been working on it. It's basically finished. Uh, so the whole, like, building part of it is finished. Now we just have to get villagers up, which I've never really worked with. Uh, but I've made this really nice rail that will hopefully do the trick. So I apparently need, uh, professionalist, uh, villagers. So I'm gonna make another trip to try to spare space and hopefully get those. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so I finished, obviously, because you can see that there's babies in there. I was just getting bone meal so that I could grow some crops, and they've already given birth to three different babies. Ah, uh, I feel like we're going to have some entity cramming going on here. <laughs> I am not ready. I have, to, I have to build a lot more to get this all set up, and I, I don't know what to do. We have three babies already, guys. 
at least we know it works, but uh, this is just stressful now. All right, well, let's get all this grown, and then I guess, I don't, I don't know if we'll have time to start on an iron farm this episode, but next episode for sure, that's what we're doing. I mean, why not? We have the villagers now, and we need the iron. We need it for beacons and to sell and just everyday use. Uh, but yeah, this has been very successful. <laughs> So, I don't know what happened, but somehow this guy got out when he grew up. I'm just gonna take some of this glass and I, I, I guess some cobble. Let's just hope that fixes our problem. Uh, but I guess I'm just gonna go AFK uh, for, I don't know, a few hours and see what happens. Did we? No, we did not get any cares from there. Alright, so I'll, I'll probably do an update in a little. Alright, so now we have quite a few villagers in here. Uh, I, I have, well actually, if I hit F3, we have about mm, 30 in here? It, it's hard to say exactly how many, probably about 30-ish. Eh, I don't know if these count as entities, um, but yeah. So we, ha we have quite a few entities. That That's the, um, we have quite a few villagers. So basically now what I want to do actually, um, is not messing around with villagers anymore. I'm done with that. Uh, but I was doing some AFKing up in the drown farm up there uh, to try to get some gold so that we can finally finish up on our beacon. We're not really that close yet, but i uh, still working on it. And um, I actually got three tridents. So one, two, three. I put menting on all of them, fixed them up at uh, the Ender farm, uh, Enderman farm. And I want to go make a shop for them because... Why Why not? <laughs> Currently we have um, almost two stacks of diamonds, which is really good, but not not enough. So, well, actually it is probably enough considering how many people are on this server and how, how many shops there are in the shopping district. But anyways, I want more anyways. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to go build a shop. Um, out of what materials, though, I have no idea. <laughs> I think glass is the way to go uh, with water inside, so we're in a creative world right now, it's the Taz Seed. We're not in the shopping district, but this is what I want to go for, I think. Uh, so I think it's a very cool design, uh, obviously glass on the outside, water on the inside. Um, and I really like it, I think it resembles a trident quite well, obviously. Uh, and if we go down here into game mode uh, survival, there is a conduit underneath us, so as soon as we walk into the water, uh, we'll get conduit power. Up here we'll probably put tridents. And then down here, uh, probably Nautilus shells. And then on the other side, I actually don't know, uh, but I was thinking maybe um, gold once we actually have our uh, beacon all the way up and ready to go. Uh, so that's where I am right now, and I'm very excited to start building this. So let's go into the uh, server and get started. Well, that took way longer than expected. Uh, I know I didn't record all. Um, any of the building basically except for showing you guys at the beginning um i ended up listening to a podcast and just didn't really feel like stopping everything uh sorry about that but there it is um and it kind of looks like a cactus i could have made uh the uh parts right here like uh, closer together uh but i think that turned out okay uh, otherwise so we go up here you can see that there's a little slip of paper and it just says one trident equals 20 diamonds accidentally threw this one. It's just, it's just a little bit uh, dented. Doesn't look great, but it's, it'll be all right. And then over here are, are our Nautilus shells. I did 16 shells for one diamond. And then other side has nothing as of right now, uh, but we'll add gold a little bit later. And then also we do have conduit power. Uh, there's one right under us. Uh, and that goes away once you're not in wander, water. But if we go back in, you can see that we have uh, 12 seconds worth of it and that will of course refill uh so that that's that's our shop um i think it went pretty well once again i forgot to open obs but anyways guys that is actually all i have time for today i know that this was a somewhat shorter video it's like five minutes less than usual uh and i'm very sorry for that i need to get better at recording you won't actually believe how long this video took me um and that's because i have other projects going on uh, that I never really showed you guys. Um, oh, that's a wall. That's a wall. Uh, so let's go show you guys that really fast. Um, you can see our little villager breeder is right there. It's not breeder, actually. It's, it's just where I keep my villagers at first. 
um, but there's also these two cobblestone places that have appeared and if we go and look in this one uh, this is my mending guy and I'm he's in here because I want to convert him into a zombie and then cure him so I can get this trade lower so I can just trade like three paper for one emerald and be rich with emeralds uh, and then this guy is actually a new villager and he has efficiency four I got efficiency five and then I I, I killed him when transforming him into a zombie um, anyways <laughs> and then I was going for efficiency five again but then after about an hour and a half later I gave up and just settled for efficiency four so now all our tools have efficiency five uh, counting our um, silk touch pickaxe where that there it is uh, so I'm very happy about that uh, anyways that's really all I have time for today so if you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button um, and if you really want to help out the channel then consider hitting that subscribe button uh, but I'm really happy you guys checked out the video and hope to see you on my channel soon. Goodbye!